What is up guys, it is Grizz Camera here, and today we are doing my first video like this. You'll see what the video is in a moment. And I'm actually recording this on my blue snowball. I just got this microphone today. It sounds awesome, to me at least. I want you guys to let me know what you think. Hopefully it's good, because I spent $101 on this. And if it's not good, well, that'd be bad. So anyways, uh, and the gameplay in the background is some really good gameplay, actually. It's some round, I get to round 21 on the giant. It's pretty cool. I got some pack punch that I don't know how much of it I'll be able to use. I'll try to use as much of it as I possibly can because I want to show you guys all of it and I'll, because it's 40 minutes long, so I'll use some of this video. I'll use some for the next video. I'll use some for basically until I run out of gameplay is how long I'm going to use that. Anyway, so let's get raw into the video. Okay, so Marina Joyce is a British blogging you beauty slash blogging YouTuber, and um, uh, she recently has been in trouble with a lot of controversy because people started to notice her acting a little strange in her videos. Like, she would repeat things over and over again. She would look at stuff like that wasn't the camera. She would just look sideways or, like, look up or look at something else that wasn't really in the camera's angle of view and the people were weirded out by that and uh yeah and there's this one clip and uh here's some evidence people think she's saying help me but i'll have to i'll show it to you guys and I'll, you guys will have to see what you think hey guys so today i'm advertising style you and i'm advertising their clothes so this is me just advertising their clothes and yeah i love you guys so much okay so three two, one, go. All right, so you can see she's repleting herself a lot in the video, but you know, maybe she's nervous. I mean, she is advertising for uh, these people and she won't maybe want, she wants to make a good video for them, you know? And she just wants to make a good video, right? I mean, and oh my God, I just repeated myself a lot there. And maybe I'm under hostage from ISIS. ISIS, please don't kill me. Um, but no, that's not the part that people say is the weirdest because apparently in this video, you can hear her faintly whisper, help me. I'll just uh, skip to that part right now. All right, so maybe it's just me, but I can't really hear it much. So... I wouldn't, I don't really think it's there. Like, all I can hear is the, but I think it's just someone breathing, honestly. Or maybe she, maybe that she was, um, just, like, breathing, going like, or the camera guy was going like, or maybe she put, like, something in her video where she just wanted to record something, but she was recording the whole time, and she accidentally, when she was recording a voiceover, maybe she was like, like, by accident. But, I mean, if you listen to it a million times, you can kind of hear, Help me. But, I mean, it's, if if you listen to it and you think that she's saying, save me, it also could be like, save me. But the whisper's so faint that it could be anything, right? I mean, you, we really have no idea. So I, I honestly don't think it's just nothing. And I think people are blowing it out of proportion, trying to find every little thing, like being detectives, being their own little Sherlock Holmes, like, oh, we gotta solve the mystery, Watson, let's go. Well, let's go kill ISIS, right? But it doesn't work like that. So yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird and confusing. And the next piece of evidence is in some of her videos, people say that they see a shotgun or BB gun in the background. First of all, that 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 shotgun's been in there since for like many videos before. If you go back to 2012, you can find it in the background in older videos. It was pretty much just newer fans saying this, and um, you could also see pill bottles in the background. We'll get to that later, but so, the shotgun. I mean, maybe she was just had it out because she was just using it and she decided to make a video. I mean, like, I have guns in my house. I, I keep them locked up like that and that shotgun does look like it's illegally stored. But then again, it could be a toy or it could be a BB gun. I mean, lots of replica BB guns look a lot like real guns so people are just blowing stuff out of proportion really anyways let's and then another thing supposedly in her q a video you can hear some chains rattling take a take a listen to this oh socks i am sockless <laughs> wait let me see if i can jump and show you <laughs> i can't i can't jump and show you i am sockless <laughs> wait let me see if i can jump and show you I can't jump and show you. Okay, three, two, 
one. Yes, okay, it kind of sounds like chains or something metal rattling, but honestly, okay, so like, but that could have been anything, that could have been her keys, maybe she had some change in her pocket, like, listen to this. Does that sound like the chains that were in the video? Uh, well, they should, because guess what? The feminist kidnapped me. I only have a little bit of time to say this. Uh, when I made fun of them of, in that BuzzFeed video, they're here. Oh no, they're coming back! Ah! Okay, but no, in all seriousness, guys, that was just some change I had in my pocket. Like, honestly, and <laughs> that sounds exactly, maybe just a bit different than what was in the video, but it could have been her keys. Maybe she just, like, um, tripped over, some, like, tripped something over. Uh, and yeah, and if she had chains on, would she really have been able to jump? Or would she have tried to jump? Because she would have thought, oh, got some chains on. So yeah. And another thing, this is this is something that was a bit strange. In, the, in like, late at night, she tw when everyone's asking her if she's okay and what's going on and stuff like that, she tweets out, Hey everybody, come meet me at Bethnal Green if you want to party at 6.30 in the morning. First of all, why would you be partying at 6.30 in the morning? And second of all, this meetup thing that she's mentioning, this event, isn't supposed to happen till like, a long time from now. So that's a bit creepy. Plus, Bethnal Green, I hear, is is a spot where a lot of criminal activity goes down. So yeah, just shady place, kind of like Chelmsford, am I right? Uh, str straight out of Chelmsford, we, we got a we got a chip stand. That's pretty much it. All right. Anyways, so yeah, that's... And I think there's this new hashtag trending around called hashtag Save Marina Joyce. I got a better one for you. Hashtag expose, expose Marina Joyce for the attention whore that she is. I guarantee you, she made all this up just so she could get some more attention. The girl literally gained a million subscribers off of this. So anyways... That's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you think of my new blue snowball microphone. And tell me what you think of me using Because I've been using a lot of zombies gameplay so far. So yeah, if you guys like it. And I'll see you guys when you like, comment, and subscribe. Very good, Grace. Now no one will know that we, the feminists, have captured you and are forcing you to say what we want you to say. Now, tell all your fellow cis white male scum to meet us at the CN Tower at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. We got something planned for them. <laughs> All right, okay, fine, you feminazis. Just don't shoot me. Hey, you can't say feminazi. That's sexist. That's, our, that's it. Shoot him.